Good morning. We have covered lots of important topics in our previous grammar classes. I suggest you to revisit those classes and refresh your knowledge on those topics. I'll link up those videos in the description. You know, practice makes perfect. English is a beautiful language and any language for that matter. English has gone through so many changes and is inculcated by different tradition and times and has evolved to its current form and it will continue evolving as long as the last man standing learning a language in the right way will open up your mind to new possibilities so i hope you enjoy learning the language and don't fret about grammar it is just learning about the current form of that language and nothing more than that it's okay you'll get the knack of it in this class we'll be learning about proverbs types of sentences and we'll work out few exercises to practice our language and grammar skills so let's start with proverb proverb is a phrase that is group of words that expresses a common truth or everyday truth or practical advice based on common sense or experience there are proverbs which are religious in nature a picture is worth a thousand words so this proverb means picture can tell the story better than 1000 words can so if i'm going to talk to you for another 10 minutes with nothing on the screen and no music in the background you'll go crazy believe me it will be difficult to understand but a picture or video will help you understand those spoken words and keep you focused sometimes it might teach you better than my words Gardens are not made by sitting in the shade. It means that you cannot achieve something without working towards it. I'll give you some proverbs now. You need to find the correct meaning for it. Question number 1. Options. So which is the right answer? Option 1. It is dangerous to carry out unnecessary investigation. Yeah, cat has 9 lives but still it died. <laughs> So that's a proverb from a time. Question number 2, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Options. So which is the right one? Option 2, one who has nothing to do will be tempted to do some mischiefs or the other. Question number 3, empty vessels makes the most noise. Options. So the correct option is option 1. People who have little knowledge usually talk the most. Question number 4, Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. Probably it might be dangerous. Okay, the options are, and the answer is, option two. Foolish people often do or say things without thinking about the consequences. Question number five. A stitch in time saves nine. Options. The correct answer is, option two. It is better to act upon or deal with problems immediately. to save extra work later on you know the thing began is off dan so if you can find a solution to your problem find it right away question number 6 the darkest hour is just before dawn you know what the time before dawn it is twilight so it is very dark at that time and dawn is when the first strobe of light enters the sky the options are and the correct answer is option 1 the most difficult period is just before your solution is found so there is hope even in the worst of circumstances now moving on to the next section grammar section types of sentences a sentence in simple terms is a set of words with subject and predicate so it begins with a capital letter and ends with a period question or exclamation mark and it expresses a complete thought a sentence can be either simple compound or complex further sentences are of four types declarative interrogative imperative and exclamatory sentences so what is a declarative sentence so declarative sentence makes a statement provides information conveys facts and ends with a period for example mary com was honored with the arjuna award in 2003 so it is an information 
So this is a declarative sentence. Interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence is a sentence that asks a question and ends with a question mark. For example, when did Sindhu start playing badminton? It ends with a question mark. Imperative sentence. Imperative sentence gives command, instruction, advice, or make request. For example, please report at 8 a.m. for the practice session tomorrow. So it is a request. Exclamatory sentence. So exclamatory sentence expresses strong feeling or emotions such as joy, anger, sorrow, or excitement, and ends in an exclamation mark. For example, what a record Dhyan Chand and his team created then. So it's an exclamatory sentence. Let us do some questions to understand it. Section A. You need to identify the types of sentences. So write D for declarative, I for interrogative, I M for imperative, and E for exclamatory sentences. Question number one: What a great example P V Sindhu is to the youngsters. So it has an exclamation point. So I'm going straight away to exclamatory sentence. Question number two: Mary Com was interested in boxing. So it is a statement. So let's mark it. D declarative. Question number three: Dhyan Chand joined the Indian Army at the age of sixteen. So it is giving us some information. So it is a declarative sentence. Let's mark it D. Question number four: Don't go out to play without having your dinner. So it is an instruction or advice. So this is an imperative sentence. Let's mark it I am. Question number five: When did Sindhu receive the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award? So it has a question mark at the end. So let's mark it I interrogative. Question number six: How wonderful has Mary Com performed in the Commonwealth Games? So it has an exclamatory mark at the end. So let's mark it E exclamatory. Question number seven: Where will the Olympic Games be held next? So it has a question mark at the end. So it is an interrogative sentence. Let's mark it I. Question number eight: Are all the players ready for the tournament? It has question mark at the end. So it is an interrogative sentence. So let's mark it I. Now section B: You need to arrange the words in the right order and form sentences, and you need to punctuate the sentence and find out and write the type of sentence. That is D for declarative, I for interrogative, I M for imperative, and E for exclamatory sentence. Question number one. So this can be rewritten as, "It was a wonderful performance." So it is a declarative sentence. Let's mark it D. Question number two. It can be written as, "Shall we have the meeting tomorrow?" So it is an interrogative sentence. Question number three. This can be written as, "Do not hurt yourself while playing." So this is a declarative sentence. Question number four. So this can be written as, "How melodious this song is." So it is an exclamatory sentence. Question number five. This can be written as, "Why did they postpone the match?" So it is an interrogative sentence. Question number six. This can be rewritten as, "What a wonderful shot." Was played by Saina Nawal, so this is an exclamatory sentence. Question number seven. This can be written as follow the directions carefully, so it is an imperative sentence. Question number eight. This can be written as the fans ran into the field to meet the players, so this is an declarative sentence. The next topic that we are going to talk about is transformation of sentence. and i am not going to deep dive into teaching you transformation of sentences as it needs more understanding of clauses and analyzing compound and complex sentences so i'll keep it simple a sentence can change its type like declarative to interrogative for example it was a wonderful performance so this is a declarative sentence now if you want to change it to interrogative sentence this can be rewritten as Was it a wonderful performance? Another example: Mary Com was honored with the Arjuna Award in two thousand three. It is a declarative sentence. Was Mary Com honored with the Arjuna Award in two thousand three? Now it is interrogative. Please remember that 
Mary Kom was honored with the Arjuna Award in 2003. So this is a request. So it is an imperative sentence. What an honor has Mary Kom received in the Arjuna Award? So this is an exclamatory now. As you can see from these examples, we can transform one type of sentence into another without changing the meaning. Let us do few questions to understand it better. Section C. Do as directed. Question number one. Priya is learning to play the guitar. So this is a statement and a declarative sentence. So this has to be changed to interrogative. And the answer is, is Priya learning to play the guitar? See, Priya is a proper noun. So it is capitalized. Question number two. Was Jurassic Park directed by Steven Spielberg? So this is an interrogative sentence. And you need to change it to declarative sentence. So this can be rewritten as Jurassic Park was directed by Steven Spielberg. Question number three. This is a lovely dress. So this is a statement. And you need to change it to exclamatory sentence. What a lovely dress this is. Question number four. Are there 12 months in a year? So this is an interrogative sentence. And you need to change it to declarative sentence. So this can be rewritten as there are 12 months in a year. Question number five. It was a wonderful sight. So this is a declarative sentence. And you need to change it to exclamatory sentence. So this can be rewritten as what a wonderful sight it was. Question number six. Isn't wisdom better than riches? So this is an interrogative sentence. And we need to change it to declarative sentence. So this can be rewritten as wisdom is better than riches. Question number seven. Will you shut the door? This is an interrogative sentence. And you need to change it to imperative sentence. So this can be rewritten as please shut the door or shut the door. Question number eight. The door is open. So this is a statement declarative. Now you need to change it to interrogative sentence. So this can be rewritten as is the door open. Now moving on to the next section listening exercise. You need to listen to the audio clip in your English reader and tick the sentences which are correct. The next section sharing an experience. Think about a time when you went on an adventure trip with your friends. Narrate your experience. You can record this and submit it along with your assignments. So it might be a time you went for a school trip or a field trip. Next section spelling. So you need to fill in the blanks with S-I-O-N or T-I-O-N to complete these words. So there are eight words and you need to complete the words with S-I-O-N or T-I-O-N. So the first one is abbreviation. Second one is concession. Third one is depression. Fourth one denomination. Fifth one dimension. Sixth one absorption. Seventh one abduction. And the last one suspension. Next section punctuation. You need to integrate punctuation and correct errors. So this can be rewritten as Rafael Nadal Pereira, comma, capitalized. Born on 3rd June 1986, comma, so there was a spelling mistake in born, is a Spanish professional tennis player. Full stop. Yes, in Spanish has to be in capital letter. He is known as the king of the clay, H is in capital, and he is widely regarded as the greatest clay court player in history. So you have added is and end of the sentence with full stop. Nadal's expertise in the game has established him as one of the best tennis player of all time. Name starts with capital letter, showing position with apostrophe. And there is a spelling mistake in expertise. And instead of greatest, you need to use best. And it ends with a full stop. Recognizing that Nadal had a natural talent for tennis, comma, his uncle Tony Nadal, comma, a former professional tennis player, comma, introduced him to tennis when he was three years old. Full stop. So here the sentence starts with capital letter and ends with a full stop. The first letter of Nadal and Tony Nadal has to be in capital letter. It is not an former professional tennis player. It is a former professional tennis player. And there was a spelling mistake for three. Now moving on to the next section, writing. 
So this is a diary entry exercise. Imagine that you have won the inter-school table tennis tournament. Write a diary entry for that memorable day, bringing out your initial feelings of nervousness, the gradual gaining of confidence, and finally the joy at the incredible victory. So you can refer to the format given in if I were an astronaut class. So I'll link up the class in the video. The last section, my word bank. The word blocking is related to boxing. Find four more words related to this sport. Write them in the space provided. So the words are count out, bout, cross and guard. We have come to the end of the class. Please write down the answers in your notebook and submit them along with your assignments. It was good to share the class with you all. Let us meet in the next class and explore more. Till then, adios.